Assalamu alaikum everybody. We are from group 2 and our topic is monitoring employee online. So let's discuss what does it mean. Monitoring employee online means monitoring employees online activities during working hours. So what do you think? Is it ethical or not? Let's see. You guys are all right. Let's uh, start the meeting. Uh, please, Mr. Simon, uh, can you show me the monthly report, please? Yes, sir. Sure. Uh, please. Uh, Here okay, it is, sir. Uh, can check. You've done a really handy work. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Mr. Munaf, uh, can you show me this report, please? Sure, sir. Let uh, me check first. Uh, check this. This section only, yes. Uh, yeah, everything seems okay so far. Everything okay, okay, fine. Uh, good job, guys. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Iman. Uh, should we talk about our next issue? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, the employment issue. The new employer, is he here? Yes, sir. Mr. Mehdiya's son. Okay. I already called him to come here today. He's waiting outside. May I call him instead? Ah, please, uh, call him. Okay, just wait a second. Uh, Mr. Munaf. Yes, sir. We should also check this. Hello, Mr. Saipur. Will you please send Mr. Mehdiya's son inside the meeting room? Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, please come in. Thank you. Uh, please sit. Uh, Mr. Imona, yes, sir. please introduce himself to all of us. Yes, sir. He is Media Sun, our new employee. He is recruited as field operator of our insurance company. Uh, now, Mehdi, this is our boss, Shekhanul Islam. Hello. Hello. This is Munaf, our managing director. Hello. Mr. Akib? Mr. Akib? Yeah, introduce him. He is Media Sun, our new employee. Mehdi, this is Mr. Akib. Our field manager, you will work under him. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Mehdi, welcome to our family. Hope you will be enjoying working with us. Uh, uh, let me tell you something. Uh, because you will be working on field, we will provide you two laptops, one for office yes. purpose only. Uh, you cannot take this outside. Uh, one, of your, one laptop will be for your outside work. When you will be in field, you can use this. Uh, Mr. Imon will explain you the rules. I know you already know the rules, but he will explain the critical rules you must follow. Yeah, please uh, remind this already. Mr. Imon, please yes, sir. explain him. Okay, Mr. Mehdi, have a look on this. I know you already did this, but have a look. And let me remind you two important rules. You can't use our office, uh, two office laptop for your personal work. You must use this for only official work official purpose and uh, say the rule number seven okay we will monitor your uh, online what you are doing online and what you are using or uh, uh, your all the official activities and uh, in online we are, will be monitored by us we have a software to monitor this and every month we uh, have a discussion on this uh, we take the report from our employees how they use the their laptop and how they use their time on online itself. So have a look on this. Oh, every everybody into this. Yes. Ah, okay. I think this conclude our monthly meeting. Uh, Mr. Sir. Yeah, you will uh, submit me the last week's survey uh, sure, before sir. tomorrow. Okay. 
Mr. Imam. Yes, sir. Uh, I need the financial report for the last month. Okay, sir. Uh, especially the Kota Samarhan branch. Okay. Okay, sir. How do you do? Uh, if you can, you can submit this today, or if you cannot, you can submit me tonight or tomorrow. Okay, sir. It will be okay. 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 Sure. And Mr. Rakesh. Yeah, we need to talk. Yeah, you will meet me at lunch time. After lunch, okay, not lunch time. After lunch, we will have talk. Meet me in my office. Okay. Okay, boss. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Okay. Hope. May I come, sir? Ah, please, Mr. Rakib, come in. Ah, please sit. Mr. Rakib, how was the lunch? Good. Ah. Did you know why I asked you to come here? Maybe important things, I mean. Ah, of course, it's really important. You know, I got your last two months report, how you work. You know, it's not up to the part. Uh, let me show you something. Uh, did you recognize these sites? Oh, sir, uh, this one maybe the pop up problem. When I go the when I do the browse, <laughs> then it pop up the problem and it automatically implode the that other uh, sites. Mr. Rakib, uh, I think you know that when. We provided you the laptops. Yeah. We also specified that we will be monitoring it. Um, it's only for the our workplace. No, sir. This is uh, I think you misunderstood me. Uh, but I, if you say so, but this is not the proper problem. Uh, you can check the site list URLs. It's all direct. You just log into this. Not only log in this. You spend too much time. Almost two and a half hours every day. Mr. Rakit, how many hours you work in this office? Every day. Eight, eight hours. Working hours. Eight working hours. Lunch one hours. Yeah. That's one hour. Seven hours remaining. Then two to three hours. Almost four. You know this is a big problem. We we are monitoring him for almost two months now. You didn't do anything special. Did you want to say something about this? You know, this is really, really bad for yourself. And you are harming our company. Mm, I, I told last time, uh, this is, uh, you misunderstood me. I told you, when I use the laptop, then it's also the, my personal memory provides me when I do the field work. Also the same problem. You, I think some misunderstanding. Uh, Mr. Rakib, you also know that when we, provi uh, we provided you the laptops, we also installed the most expen expensive and the most secure tools that your work never stops. Or you, you... Uh, what I can say, Mr. Sir, uh, sir uh, I just tell you, you really misunderstanding. Me. It's misunderstanding. I, I, I really had to hire for you. What do you think now? Uh, Ah, please don't smile more. Please, this is really, really situation. Serious. <sighs> you are a grown up person. Why you spend too much time in these adult sites? You also spend too much time in your social networking sites. So, like if you are harming our company, you know that this is a serious crime. We can fire you. Like now, I'm thinking about it. We also have many complaints about you. You sleep at work, you, you don't show up at meetings, you don't do your field works. Hey, let's check your last month work. What did you do? Everything is wrong, man. You left me no choice. This is considerable. But you broke our agreement. I have no choice, man. I have to fire you. Mr. Rakib, you broke our prime agreement. 
So our prime agreement is you cannot use our belongings in, on your personal use. I have no choice, man. I have to fire you. <clears throat> okay, I uh, remember you. I didn't do anything, uh, whatever, within my our agreement. But Mr. Akib, I have concrete proof, man. So what do you want now? You left me no choice. I have to fire you because you broke our rules, regulations. You didn't care. So you want to fire me? Of course I want to fire you. Okay. Well, I will see you in court and I sue your company. You want to sue my company? Yes. Because uh, you are you are misunderstood me. Ah. So you don't uh, give me any chance. Okay. To prove As myself. So I have to prove in court. Okay. Let's see you in court. Okay. Bye. Order, order, order. Let's begin the today's judicial session. Uh, please prosecute your state your case. Thank you, Your Honor. My uh, client is Mr. Rakibul Islam. Uh, he is falsely accused from his job and he is dismissed from his job without any notice. The job is dismissed by the defendant, our company, KS Insurance Company. They dismiss my client without any notice, without any legal notice. So uh, they accused him for watching uh, illegal websites during their work time. Uh, but it's to, uh, to, uh, falsely accused. So therefore I request to your honor that they, they must sue our defendant. Thank you, your honor. So Mr. Defender, uh, you can start your case. Thank you, your honor. Uh, please uh, let me introduce my company first, KS International Insurance Company. It's work all what? It's number one company in Malaysia. It's very reputed. That's why it's number one. It's never miss its promise, its rules. It never breaks. It's really, really amazing. Mr. Yasin Arafat is a very dignified person. Uh, we have been accused for falsely terminating Mr. Rocky Hassan's job, but we have concrete proof that he break the rules, cause many problems and also harm the company by losing our belongings like laptops in odd places. He also used the belongings for his personal use. We have concrete proof, your honor. Now, if they insist, I will present the exact, the copy of his faults and his errors. I can submit to the courts. That's all my own. Thank you. So, Mr. Prosecutor, do you have an objection? Yes, my lord, I have my objection. Uh, first, my friend said that their company is very reputed and number one company yes, is true. in the world. But that is not true. That is not the fact. Second thing, he said that my, my client used their belongings. As per regulation, he can use his belongings as per their rules. Uh, and secondly, I object, my lord. You just objection you know. overruled. You, you have your chance. Secondly, they dismiss him because of saying that they stated that they, he is visiting, my client is visiting the porn site and illegal adult site for a very long time. And they have no evidence. But they are saying over and over that they have concrete evidence. Where is the evidence? Can you show me, please? Your Honor, that's my objection. Thank you. So, Defender, uh, can we have your evidence? Of course, my lord. I, of course, I have proof. Uh, here is the, my lord, here is the proof. This is the URLs. This is the start time. This is the end time. You can clearly see that, that he is spending too much time on the specific this adult sites and social media. If you see the times, it's in the official hour. It's almost two to three hours. I have objection, my lord. Objection over. Uh, my reputed colleague also said that we didn't give him any derogation. So that's why I bring this official rules book. Uh, you can see there is clearly stated that you cannot 
use our belongings, our laptops, we provided that you cannot use for the personal use. It's in the section 6. You can check that. That's all my work, my lord. Thank you. This is the site. The company is usually using some random sites. So in the random sites, there is many ad company. So if my client go to that site, automatically some pop up ad coming. So that's why when he visit, the ads are always coming. So that's why, okay, that's why I said that my client is fully innocent. Look at his face. He's very innocent man. And not only that, your honor, that my client is also said that he also stated that in rule number six, they stated that he cannot use his as personal belongings. He is not using this for his personal use. He is using for company purposes. That's why he is going to many different sites where the client paying the insurance in right time or not. That's why he's going that sites. And that's why the sites are not protected by the Google. That's why the pop-up ad order is coming. And on the basis of a software, you cannot determine my client as a guilty one. And you cannot dismiss my client. He is a very reputed person also. Thank you, Your Honor. Defender, uh, now you can say what you wanted to say. Uh, thank you, my lord. My prosecutor said that uh, this software copy can be manipulated. I agree that. But I can assure you, this software we are using for monitoring our employee all over the world is legitimate and one of the best software in the world. This is the statics all over the world survey by almost 10,000 people. This state that this is a legitimate and 100% cooperative and legal. It, it cannot be falsified, this data. You can check that. Action, my honor. I have uh, objection. Objection noted. Uh, we provided him two laptops, one for official use, one for his home, on field work. Uh, we only given you the official report of his official laptop. I wanted to ask you if you allow us, uh, we can prove that he is, he is also using that laptop in his field work and visiting the prosecutor. Uh, if you check this laptop, you, you will find his in browsing history. But your honor, he cannot uh, uh, point out my uh, objection. I can, Mr. Prosecutor. This is our company laptop. When we give in these laptops, we also said that when we want to want this laptop back, you have to give us back. Now we want to show the laptop to uh, the honorable judge. Your Honor, can I show you now the laptop? In I have history? objection, Your Honor. Okay, uh, wait, you can see. Your Honor, you cannot give any kind of permission to someone if you want to see the personal life of someone. My client is a very reputed one and you cannot see his private life, what he is doing inside his home and what he is doing with his laptop. Objection. So you cannot Objection. do that. Objection. Thank you, Your Honor. And my client is also so reputed that you cannot just go to uh, his home and see his online activities, what he is doing in his home. So. Uh, do you want to say something about this? Of course, my lord. I already gave you the rules and uh, agreement book. Uh, you can check, uh, check it in the section 7. It's clearly stated that the laptop we are given is belong to us. We can check and take back and monitor its activity. So that's why we are permitted to check. There is no obligation, no illegal rights. This is our rights. This is already said. Even this is the agreement where every employee signs when he employed in our company. So that's why this is not illegal, my lord. So we can show you this. Thank you, my lord. So do you have any objection? No, my lord, I have no objection. He's finished. Defender, behave yourself. Provide your evidence. Sorry, my lord. This is his personal laptop. You can check the browsing history. Ah, that's one, that's one. So after seeing the evidence, uh, the court believed that the uh, evidence are enough to prove the Mr. Rakibul Islam guilty and the court hereby declared that the defense are completely correct and case insurance free from all the charges without any conditions and the court is adjourned.
this happen man thank you okay conclude with as we saw in the role play employees do enjoy a true right to privacy in their everyday lives outside of work and workers may desire that right to extend to the workplace too nevertheless the reality is that when an employee is at work the right to privacy is either non existent or significantly less than the one enjoyed after hours thank you